Hello, this video introduces PyCube, a Python library for knowledge aware machine learning from multiple sources. It is developed by a group of researchers at the University of Sheffield. This library has three objectives for green machine learning. The first objective is to reduce repetitions and redundancies in machine learning libraries. We refactor machine learning code to standardize the workflow and enforce styles. This can help us to identify and remove duplicated functionalities. The second objective is to reuse existing resources. For example, we reuse the same machine learning pipeline based on multi-linear PCA for different data, including gate videos, brain fMRI sequences, and uh, cardiac MRI sequences. And we, we also aim to re reuse the, uh, the available functionalities in existing libraries as much as possible. Our final objective is to recycle learning models across different areas. We identify the commonalities between different applications and build APIs to help us to recycle models for one application to another application. To achieve these objectives, we design this library to facilitate the integration of data and the fusing of ideas. We have a pipeline-based API to help us unify the machine learning workflow. And uh, we adopt the core principles of standardization and uh, minimalism to reduce, reuse, and recycle our machine learning models. And these pipeline-based API and uh, minimalism design help us to break the barriers between different areas and applications. And this will, in turn, help us to nurture new ideas and fusion different ideas across the boundaries of disciplines. We also adopt modern software engineering practices. We use GitHub for team collaboration. We use read the docs to build our documentation. We use PyPy to distribute our packages and we use LinkedIn to enforce code style. And we use pre-commit to ensure the quality of our package. And we use PyTest and CodeCuff for testing and the quality insurance. We have lots of built-in automations and uh, continuous integration to ensure robust and reliable software development. We also embrace the PyTorch ecosystem and particularly making use of PyTorch Lightning to simplify the code and uh, 
workflow and lead to very compact packages. Here is our pipeline-based KO API. The load module will load the raw data from external sources. Then the next module will pre-process these raw data and make them ready for machine learning. The embed module will learn representations by embed the pre-processed data to a appropriate space. And then the predict module will make the prediction based on the embeddings. And then the evaluate module will evaluate the prediction outcome. And finally, the interpret module, module will interpret the learned model and also the learning outcomes. So here is an example of this pipeline-based API for drug discovery. We load the binding DB dataset from external sources, and uh, then we do a uh, pre-processing to transform chemical characters into a sequence of numbers. And then we learn an uh, embedding for drug and uh, target separately. And then based on this embedding, we predict the binding affinity between the drug and uh, the target. And we also implement a missing evaluation criteria called Concord index. And finally, we will present the learning outcome and the learned models for interpretation by our collaborator from AstraZeneca. So in our library, we cover heterogeneous data sources, including graphs, images, text, and also videos. In terms of machine learning models, we have popular deep learning models, including convolutional neural networks, graph neural networks, or graph convolutional neural networks, and also transformers. We have built domain adaptation pipeline for transfer learning. And we also have built libraries with API to handle heterogeneous data to facilitate data integration and uh, multimodal learning. And finally, we are also building multilinear subspace learning model for the dimensionality reduction of multidimensional data. We have building several applications in three areas. In image and video recognition, we have examples on popular applications on data sets such as CIFAR 10, CIFAR 100, and the DGIS data sets such as MNIST, and also action videos. We also have examples on bioinformatics data and uh, for graph analysis, such as binding DB for drug discovery and uh, knowledge graphs. And finally, we also have an example on cardiac 
MRI analysis for medical imaging applications. This library was created by the joint effort of the machine learning group and the research software engineering group at the University of Sheffield. And this project has been partially funded by the Wellcome Trust through an Innovator Award. And this library is open source on GitHub at PyQ slash PyQ. And we adopt the simple permissive MIT license for distribution. And so far we have seven contributors making contributions to this library. And finally, we welcome any feedback or contribution from you. Thank you.